Hi guys, in today's video I will do a quick speed test to check how fast really is the internal Mac SSD that Apple sells us at $1000 and does it really worth paying such a price while purchasing a bigger storage option Mac. In this bottle I will also include a pretty cheap but good quality SSD from Samsung, the T7 and also an old style spinning hard drive and also my little SD card which I use to expand my Mac internal storage. For testing purposes, I will transfer a pretty large 100GB file to all of the presented storage options. Enjoy! So the final results are not surprising. I knew that the internal SSD will be the fastest one, but I was really surprised that it was capable of transferring a pretty large 100GB file in just around 30 seconds. The second place is Samsung T7 SSD with around 8 minutes for the same 100GB file. The third place is an old style spinning hard drive with around 20 minutes of transferring time. And the last place is my Jet Drive SD card with around 30 minutes to transfer the same 100GB file. What can I tell you about all these numbers? Well, obviously the internal SSD proposed by Apple is definitely the best one. It's incredibly fast but very expensive. I don't even think that we need such speeds for data transfer. 
an external SSD might be a cheaper and better option if you are looking to expand your disk space. They are pretty fast and reliable, while being relatively not expensive. The cheapest option is a spinning hard drive. It offers you a large data storage space for a very affordable price, but it's super slow, so it's better to use it just for data storage. For example, to keep your large photo library on one of these. Thanks for watching. I hope you liked this video. If you want to support me, please subscribe to my YouTube channel and check out my other videos on my channel as well. See you later on YouTube. Bye bye.